Yo, hoes. It is me, R2, Ariel, Raphael2, your favorite Terrapin Space Princess. What up? It is a secret to no one that I am absolutely, positively in love with Oogie Boogie. I don't know why. Don't ask. Which, in relation to this, has made me interested in blacklight. It's a really cool aesthetic. I see myself as a gothy, dark, punky person, but at the same time I love color. So over the years, as I've loved Oogie Boogie, I've started to collect glow-in-the-dark, blacklight sort of stuff. And of course, I've got myself a nice big blacklight. The girl's gotta have her mood lighting. So when looking for a new color to dye my hair, my hairstylist told me to look at Manic Panic. Big surprise, I have never used Manic Panic before. She recommended Manic Manic Panic because there's no peroxide in the dye and it's conditioning. So I was on the Manic Panic website looking for some dye, choosing which hair color I was gonna do, and then I saw it. Black light hair dye. My hair could glow in the dark? Like my boy Mr. Oogie Boogie? Hell yeah! At first I wasn't considering the bright green yet, but I get to the beauty supply store and they were having a two for one sale. They have the dark green I was looking at and then they had this one titled Electric Lizard. You put lizard on anything and I can't say no to it. Electric lizard is what you see on me now. So this got me thinking, what if I gave myself a head to toe blacklight makeover? Why not? But in brainstorming this idea, I came up with an even better idea. Not only was I gonna give myself a head to toe blacklight makeover, I would make it the ultimate Oogie Boogie Disney bound. Yeah. So there are two things I had to do. I had to find a whole outfit that would glow under black light, and for our Disney bound, it would have to be bright green. So we would glow in the dark, just like Mr. Oogie Boogie in Oogie Boogie's song. Awesome. Step one, get hair dye. Check. So I didn't actually dye my hair first. It was after I found the bright green dye that I decided that this was what I was gonna do. And because I knew I was gonna make it into a video, I wanted to hold off on the dye for as long as possible so I could have it nice and fresh for our big day. It ended up being two days, but we'll get there. Step two, get an outfit. I was hoping to find something along the lines of a hoodie because one, the hood could represent Oogie's head shape and two, the general bagginess of it. But I also knew right away that it was going to be a crop top because I live in Florida and it's hot. And eventually I would pair it off with boots. Sandals would be more practical, the boots are cooler. So there. This is actually pretty hard because unless you're walking around with a black light, you don't know if your stuff is gonna glow. So I thought the best place to look would be a rave store. I went online, I found rave clothing. The first one being just one simple hoodie and then the second one being a combo of a hoodie and a skirt. Because again, who knew if it was actually gonna glow? I needed options. A few weeks later, they came in. I just got the green clothing items that I bought for this Disney bound moment. I'm going to test them under the black light. Let's see if they stand up to the test. It's a good thing I bought myself those options because lo and behold, only one of my packages glowed. <gasps> Ooh, we have a winner. Glowed, glue, I don't know. This one has failed. This one, oh, which is it? Is it the set? Yes! So I already had my top and my bottom. This is a full set, you guys. Oh, that's perfect. I don't have to get pants for these. Yes, bitch, we go match! Ha ha! By the way, I'm not naming which store that I bought these things from because that sweatshirt that I returned, they didn't give me a full refund. Fuck you, I should have just kept it. So it was at this point that I decided to dye my hair. I was going to Japan. I wanted to look nice and a little funky. I was going to Tokyo. So I said, fuck it! and I dyed my hair bright green. Roll the clip. I'm a little terrified. I've never gone this bright and obnoxious before. I just got my hair bleached. I don't feel like myself right now, so hopefully the green kind of puts me back in that spot. I'm naked. Do not apply to scalp. Huh. So let me bite the bullet and dye my hair as green as the lizard I am inside. There we go. All right, YOLO. Do 
not apply directly to the scalp. Silly manic panic. Oh my god. We are going green in this house. If I have any hair breakage from this, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, isn't it bad to start on the roots? Is that a thing? Is that why my hair breaks? What's all this? Get in on the party. Let's go. It's so bright. It's happening. It's happening. There's definitely patches. Yep. Hi. How are you? Jeez. Okay. Your turn. Hello? Goodbye. Yes. You thought you could escape. Okay. You wanted to be a boogie person. You're gonna be a boogie person. Mm. I think I'm good. Oka doka. Mm. Lean on for 30 minutes, but maybe like 25 at this point. I'll be honest, I was not a fan in the beginning. <laughs> this is jarring. I don't know, this is, this is gonna take some getting used to. I do have a backup dye if I hate it, but I'm not checking it out. This is what I'm going to Japan looking like. Oh my god, does that mean I have to do this again when I like actually make this video? I wonder how long the UV light lasts. Speaking of UV light, ooh. oh boy, black light in three, two, one. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh my god. I am a boogie girl. My dreams have come true. Oh, this is. Great! Oh, I'm so fucking excited. What the fuck is on my- Oh my god, can you guys see that? Oh my god, wait! Do you fucking see that? I like have it dusted on my face. I look like an actual fucking lizard. I'm not mad about it, that's just weird. Do you see that? Oh my god, you definitely see that. Wait, if I like- What the fuck? Maybe this will go away when I wash my face. This is- that's funny. I'm like more fascinated with what happened to my face. Oh, this is weird. Okay, well, my hair glows and um, and I'm an alien. Okay, bye. It was a bit of a shock. So what you saw in my Japan vlog was actually my first few days getting used to my secret of the ooze hair. I'm a fan now, but it was a far cry from what I'm used to. That makes sense? So one week later, I'm back in the States and I have plans to go to Disney World with my best friend Chelsea for her birthday. And I knew that this was my moment because where do you Disney bound? Disney World. Where is a fantastic place to show off your neon glow? Disney World. Why? So many of their rides have black light on it. Think about it, with a black light makeover, who's gonna know that your whole outfit glows if you're not under a black light? I mean, we could go to a rave, but that's not content. I gave myself a neon makeover, then I went to a rave. Yay, I glow. Bitch, everyone is glowing. You dark face. So the date was set. The hair was done. I had the top and the bottom. I wanted to give myself black leggings with black light bugs painted on them. But I live in Florida. It was really hot. I would rather not die of heat stroke. So the leggings idea was canceled. I needed to find makeup. And you know, it was actually pretty easy to find black light makeup online. In fact, I went to splashesandspills.com and I found pretty much everything I needed right there. Not an ad, but I should probably mention that I got all the makeup from this place. I'm just going to swatch, not actually put on, just kind of test out the makeup that I ordered. I just wanted to get some first reactions here. I don't know if this is going to be a green lipstick or if it's going to be, I don't know, translucent or something. Let's see. Uh, that is green. It's not a very good green. You have to like really build up on it. All right now I'm curious. Definitely not a lot of pigment. If you want that, you have to build it up, but even so, it like, it's kind of like a dry erase board marker. Like, the more you put on top of it, the more you kind of wipe away. That's kind of more like a lip stain. Just kind of like tinting my lips. It's like, all I want is to cover my bottom lip. I really get a feeling that would not stay all day. Well, okay, the lipstick wasn't fantastic, but what's going on with this? Mascara. Uh -huh. All right, fuck swatches. I think we need to see the results. See, I'm putting this on eyelashes that already have mascara on them. Okay, you have to build it up for sure. I mean, there it is. See that? Like spidery green legs. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, eyeliner. Mm-hmm. Well, that's... 
That's pretty good. This lipstick looks awful. It's not a very nice lipstick. I wonder if I like put it on top of another lipstick that might be better. I'm not gonna put this on my eyes right now, but I think that's gonna be pretty promising. It's not like the most solid. Yeah, it's like doing that dry erase marker thing again. It kind of like wipes itself away. Very obviously green. It's there, unlike the lipstick. Of course, there's no polish. It also looks like it's gonna need to be built. It's very thin. All of these are very thin. I get a feeling the makeup part's gonna make it look terrifying. That's kind of a challenge with all this because I'm basically just wearing a bunch of green, but I'm doing my best to make this stylish. I need to choose. I swear, I looked over all of the internet looking for bright green, black light, UV boots. Preferably boots because it would just look better with this outfit. And at this point I had gotten back from Japan and Chelsea was coming at the end of the week. So I needed to get myself some shoes in a short amount of time. Nothing on Amazon, so no Amazon Prime happening. So at this point I realized that I needed to paint my shoes. DIY, bitch. I went to Joann's and found some glow in the dark paint. And I went on a mission to find boots in fucking Florida at the beginning of summer. So today I went out and got shoes from Ross of all places. I've never really shopped there before. Go Ross. And they had these really, really cool high top Steve Madden sneakers for like $30. They weren't lace up and I was hoping they would be lace up so it can have like a crisscross sort of seam sort of thing, you know, on brand. It's just all sandals right now. So I took what I could get. And you know what, they're really cool shoes so I'm really excited to fix them up. So we are out on my porch. I set up this tarp. As you can see, the shoes are actually white, but look at how cool they are. I already taped up the zipper so we wouldn't get paint on it. I mean, I'm gonna get paint on here, but maybe I'll like take a tissue to it or something. I went to Joann's and I found this neon paint. I've gotten this brand before in neon green and it does glow, so this should work well. We're gonna spray it and get ourselves some glowing green Oogie Boogie Disney Bound shoes. So here's how the shoes came out. Don't mind this because I will be painting this black. Yeah, the actual paint job is a little blotchy. It probably would have been nice if I got a second can just in case. Definitely from afar they look green, you know? And also I tested under the black light and they do completely glow green and they're the exact same green as the outfit so it's getting the job done. I already scratched off the paint on the metal and that helped. I'm going to go in with black paint, paint in some of these like details just to accent it a little bit. They're dry so I think we can just move on to that. So there I have my shoes. I had a head to toe, oogie boogie, bright green outfit. I was ready to go. I was ready for Disney. The day had finally come. I was going to Magic Kingdom dressed in the ultimate oogie boogie Disney bound. What made it ultimate? Because I glue in the dark, just like the man himself. Hell yeah.
I've done it. So my Oogie Boogie outfit in the end ended up with my glowy black light hair, some narrow cat eye sunglasses to give me that dark evil eye look, which included the eyeliner, the mascara, and the lipstick, glow in the dark nail polish, these cute Oogie Boogie earrings that don't glow but they fit the theme, one of my plain black collars, the green combo I got from the rave store, stripy green socks because we all know Tim Burton likes stripy socks, my DIY green boots, and finally my lock, shock, and barrel purse. Bad guy's gotta have his henchmen. That was good. Thanks! Chelsea, because she's amazing, agreed to help me film, and she agreed to match my outfit with a Jack Skellington Disney bound. Looking good? Thank you. I got him. I got him. How's it feel, Jack? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. And so Jack and Oogie, as unlikely partners, set off on a journey to find Blacklight. We checked out Space Mountain, which if you're familiar with Disney, Space Mountain is just a pitch black roller coaster, but the waiting area seemed to make me glow a little bit. Bless Chelsea for her patience because I took every opportunity to break out my Oogie Boogie dance. I think the people next to us in line really appreciated that. <laughs> We checked out the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The Tigger section and the Heffalum section were pretty solid. The Little Mermaid ride didn't disappoint. The Haunted Mansion did. You tried. You tried. You tried, girl. I don't feel like they do. I'm jealous. But the gift shop had something for me to work with, at least. I just hung out with those shirts for a while. Chelsea pointed out that in this lighting, I look like I'm already glowing, and I absolutely am. I am blinded. We checked out Peter Pan's flight, which is literally an entire ride of black light. This is my TikTok rocket but we actually had the best luck on the line, specifically this one random corner with the cutout of Nana on it. Whatever, Nana's cool. But overall, I think the best place for my outfit was the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, solely because I matched the color palette so well. Just call me an LGM. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah. Just a, like glow like that guy in Sky High. Hey, he does glow. <laughs> oh my God, what's his name? Zach from Sky High. I'm Zach today. I'm actually really proud about this. I'm doing it. Doing what? I'm glowing. So I was just walking around Disney in all my boogeyman glory. But generally, people are pretty happy with the outfit, and someone has already guessed who I am. So, a vampire. A vampire, yes. Oh, which by the way, the reactions were interesting, mostly from children. The only negative reaction I got was that when I was on Splash Mountain, as we passed this one group of kids, I heard a kid go, look at that. And one of the girls looks right at my face and goes, ha! Which the boy turns around and me towering over him at my impressive five feet. He just goes, it's actually pretty cool. It is cool, you little shit. My favorite reaction was when I was on the line to get food and there was a family behind me with these two kind of rowdy daughters. Rowdy enough that they accidentally knocked into me. The mother apologizes and when I turn to look and go, oh, it's okay, she goes, by the way, I love your outfit. Are you that, that ghost from, and I tilted my lock, shock, and barrel bag at her a little bit and she goes, that's the one, yeah, that's who you are. That's awesome, I love it. And then her daughter starts talking to me and the conversation went something like, you're not supposed to be here. Well, why not? Because you're a vampire. I'm not a vampire. If I was a vampire, why would I be out in the middle of the day? I finally reach the food counter and the lady helping me is like, I love your outfit. Did you dye your hair yourself? Your hair color is so cool. Your whole outfit, all the green, I love it. Meanwhile, child comes back to my side going, you're a vampire. And her mother goes, she's not a vampire. She's the boogeyman. Hearing someone call me the boogeyman felt good. And even better, the food lady heard the mom call me the boogeyman and she was like, oh my God, you're the boogeyman. That's what you're dressed as. Now I get it. Hey, this guy passing her. She's the boogeyman. Do you see that? How cool is that? And he's like, oh yeah, I love it. A little faith in humanity. Thank you, kind strangers. Before I knew it, my day of Disney bounding came and went. But I wasn't done yet. Disney World has black light everywhere and I got an annual pass. Let's find everywhere that has black light in Disney World. Eh, not everywhere, but as much as we can. And so I planned a day two of Oogie Boogie Disney Bounding. This time I was joined by my friend Alyssa, who Disney Bounded as Sally. 
Get in, Ragdoll. We're going to Disneyland. With Alyssa, I went to Epcot. Of course, they have the bad guy go through the metal detector and not Sally over here. They like me more. Bad guy discrimination. <laughs> also, it's really hot out. I just have the sweater around my waist for now. I'll put it on for the rides, I promise. We checked out Spaceship Earth. It's not black like it's green. Me and my rock. shoulder, we're the best friends. <laughs> Test track, which, holy crap. I was glowing practically the entire time. Simcar performance data acquired. That we're on a green mission. Mission Space is actually a fully black light ride. We just did Mission Space. It was boring because we did the green one. That ride is so claustrophobic that there was no chance I was gonna get a camera working in there. I'm not going back on that thing. <laughs> Lastly, in Epcot, we went on the Frozen ride, which again, to my surprise, was a lot of black light. But for the big finale, we went to the best place to find black light in Disney. Or at least it should have been. So here I thought that Pandora would be our big main event. No glow, no show. I'm not glowing. I traveled all the way to the planet of Pandora in Animal Kingdom, hoping that the entire land would be pure black light. I could just walk around in my purest, ultimate boogeyman form. But the truth about Pandora in Animal Kingdom is that it's just really dark. Pandora? I thought I'd be walking around like a friggin' lighthouse. There's gotta be a black light around here somewhere. There has to be. That's the only one in the Yeah, the only one in Pandora. Oh, in Pandora, yeah, there's some. They're all in the park. All over this one's brand new. The Navi River journey is what Pandora is supposed to look like. Welcome to my land. That whole area should be under black light, but it's not. No glowing. I mean, no, like, not no glowing, not at all. But you had to seek it out. There's like a black light there and there. Pandora, the world of black light. Not really. We only just kind of glow in this one corner. But we're out in public, we're green, we are Oogie Boogie. I don't know what Oogie Boogie's doing on Pandora, but. <laughs> and that was the best I can do. We have found the glowiness of glowies. We're here, we made it. My environment, my land. You can leave me, Alyssa, I am good here. Okay. Ta-da! Thank you all so much for watching. Dude, I love Disney. I love Disney bounding. I love Disney fashion. I love going to Disney. I Disney bound all the time, but if you have suggestions for any more challenging Disney bounds like this, let me know. I'll take the chance and roll the dice. I hope you all enjoyed. And with that, um, green screen something on me. I've been R2 and I'm out. R2, but they said you were dead. You must be double dead. Wait, Oogie's, Oogie's my ride. <laughs> Sorry, Jack, but you don't have wheels. See, Jack, y'all gotta have wheels. <laughs>